pounds. It comes in pounds. He's eating into my times. And they said, that's enough. We're not going there. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, via the latest technology, here's your friend and the enemy of the industry, Mr. Andy Kindler. Help me. Help me, Odin Kirk Kenobi. Help me, you're my only hope. I cannot Odin help you. Odin Kirk Kenobi. <laughs> the Star Wars reference. Yes, I Bob, get it. Thank yes. you for. Don't go. I can see. I How can. can you, uh, why'd you wear this? Uh, you've shrunk, Andy. You shrunk with the patches. <laughs> what did he. Bob. What did he say? Bob. What? Yeah. Bob. Yes. You look great. I heard you on Terry Gross talk oh. about your heart attack. Yeah, cool. Thank God you're alive. Please don't die because none of these people in this room deserve to uh, move up. Okay? <laughs> nobody in this I'll room, do that. I'll steal Nobody in this room ha needs advancement. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's great to see uh, you Bob, even by hologram. I, I'm thin on material, Bob. Banter with me slightly longer. No, I'm going to get out of here, and I can't wait to hear what's happening in our exciting and vibrant industry of show business. Bob Robert Odenkirk. What, keep it going. Oh, we go way back until he got very successful. I can't reach him now. All right, that's good. All right, hi, everybody. I'm already, I'm bombing no matter what gimmick I use. Yes, that's right, I'm a hologram. Coachella got Tupac, and you're getting Jupac. Jupac. We had to work on hologram leaning. And you thought my act had no substance. Oh my God, it's a speech, folks. It's a, it's a speech, I can't change it. Uh, it's nice not to be here tonight. I almost didn't not make it here. My hologram had trouble at the border. They, they wouldn't give it a work permit. They said, uh, they kept saying, we don't think this, this will work. There's only a seven second delay. Folks, feel free as a group. Uh, uh, either I'm, I'm fainting or I, I've seen the same person in the front row since 1995. <laughs> he was a dentist. Everybody move, that's true. Everybody move in, folks. This is the... I was hoping to be there in person so you could reject me face to face. But unfortunately, I tested positive for common sense. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you people? You like to be sandwiched in a van? <laughs> this is the future of comedy, behold. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about me not being there, is what I mean. That's the future of comedy. I am never leaving this box. I know many stand-ups are back on the road doing live shows like God intended. Most will return unhappy and underpaid with a sub-variant. I will judge them from the comfort and safety of my living room, aka germ bunker. Please save all the laughs for the end of the speech. This one will work, I'm sure. Can you believe this? I'm in Van Nuys, and you people are in a hotel ballroom in Montreal laughing at nothing. It's just like a Kevin Hart show. Kill. Kill. I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for Howie Mandel. This is a sentence that I thought I would never say. In his honor, today you may call me Saint Elsewhere. We wrote a joke, folks. He was on, he was on, not Hill Street Blues. What was the name of the show? Say no, swear. <laughs> this is actually Howie's 
ho hologram machine. He, he owns it, which makes sense. He's always been on the cutting edge of finding ways not to touch people. <laughs> Howie admitted to me last week that he's never seen the speech. I, I dodged a rubber glove there. <laughs> I see how, how he's glaring at me. Luckily, he he's, uh, has too much OCD to touch me. I have ADHD and OCD. I compulsively forget my rituals. <laughs> And I, I, you know, I, this is real. I'm here, really. I've been, I'm going along with the premise. I can see and hear all of you. I can see my, uh, my manager, Bruce. He's scanning the room for younger clients. <laughs> hey, Bruce, give Bruce a hand. This, look what he has to do now. He's got to represent me as a cartoon. He's trying to get my hologram a series but they keep saying I'm more of the hologram's grandpa type. <laughs> you write a hologram joke and see if it's that good. <laughs> People say my career is basically over. I don't have anything on that. It's just what I keep hearing. <laughs> I know I'm aging because Last night I was watching TV and all of a sudden I shushed everybody. I said, I'm so quiet. I'm trying to hear what Bill Engvall is saying. I've never <laughs> leaned in. I'm riveted because Bill Engvall is telling me I might not be getting all the Medicare savings I could. They don't have Medicare in Canada? I'm just hoping there's room for me at the Home for Aging Comedians. Netflix. <laughs> Actually, Netflix is changing gears. Very excited. They want to cultivate a brand. They have created niche programming. They are the home of anti-trans content. Come to Netflix for the best in othering. <laughs> Our soul is lava. Uh, by the way, I read that NASA will be using the Webb telescope to try to calculate the vastness of Dave Chappelle's ego. <laughs> it's still a delay, but I kind of am liking it now. I really think Chappelle sees himself as, he's mean Jesus. Andy, isn't mean Jesus the devil? No, that's Ricky Gervais. Mean Jesus is still the messiah of comedy. He's just mean. And if he hurts your feelings and you say something about it, he gets meaner. Because it's your fault for not understanding comedy genius. Are people nervous there or? <laughs> big, big Chappelle crowd. Ah, ah. I watched his special. He, keep, he keeps saying, here's what he says during his special. It's going to get worse. Strap yourselves in, I'm going all the way. People don't have to strap themselves in. It's not like he's delivering truth people can't handle. He calls, he calls feminists frumpy dykes. That's the, that's the whole joke. And then he says, watch out, it's going to get worse. He's right, the special gets worse. <laughs> Which way? Back. You, you, let me tell you something, folks. If I had not trained in hologram technology for 15 years, I could not have pulled this off. They said, here's where I was. Now I'm over here, folks. Maybe I should do I've decided that that day, why am I yelling like I'm still there? Maybe Chappelle is doing a character. The guy who hates people based on their appearance or sexual orientation. That's the character. Are we a pro-anti-trans crowd? I hope not. Chappelle, Chappelle you, know, you know why I creep up? Because I'm afraid I don't have enough approval back here. 
Come towards me, Howie says. Howie is feeding me lines. The guy, Chappelle lies in his act more than Leno. All his anecdotes are about him taking non-comedians down verbally. His last special included several fist fights that he talked about, anecdotes about him punching people. He's just, and he, he doesn't want to start things. He's just walking around being the goat, right? A hero to all. And these people come up and say terrible things to him. How can he not punch them? Did anyone watch that special? I am really, this is, why get the technology if you people are not going to study up to the speech? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, and I say that because I'm really disconnected from the entire event. I'm worried about comedy, and not in the way I used to be. I started doing this speech in 1995 because I thought hack comedy was dangerous. To comedy! Not to humanity! I was mad at Leno for taking over The Tonight Show and making it suck. It's, that was the end of the world to me at that point. Now we're actually at the end of the world and there are many fascist comedians trying to make it worse. Who knew that Rob Schneider's hot take on the Canadian trucker boycott would cause an international crisis? Why is Rob Schneider so angry? It's not our fault he's an unrelenting hack. We I don't write this stuff, people. We didn't force Rob to go over the top in every movie he's chewed the scenery in. We didn't insist that he staple himself to Adam Sandler's coattails. That was, that was his choice. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I'm the bad guy. Am I the bad guy? Because these people are fascist comedians? Bill Maher, in his special, he opened with five minutes on how much people wearing masks make him mad. That makes him mad. Mr. Le Libertarian loses his shit. Libertarian? He's a librarian. M Mr. Libertarian loses his shit when he sees someone who's choosing to wear a mask. He's one of the only people I've ever seen who tries to talk everyone out of religion and science. <laughs> My delivery's back, baby. It's back. It's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. I'll do that bit again. I'm actually nostalgic for the old hack comedy. Good? Oh. Oh, I'm going backwards. <laughs> I thought he meant stand backwards. What an idiot. The internet has changed everything. It's great that we live in a world where you can connect directly with your fans. The problem is that followers corrupt and a million followers corrupt absolutely. The, the only thing comedians handle worse than criticism is acceptance. And if you can sick the army of people who accept you on anyone who criticizes you, you are now a fascist comedian. Congratulations. I, I miss the old days. I'd rather hear how men and women are different than five minutes on, they won't let you be racist anymore. <laughs> they like that. Uh, nothing wrong with, nothing wrong with why don't they make the plane out of the black box when you put it up against Vaccines are a lie. <laughs> Adam Carolla says this. I know he's not a comedian, but he's close. <laughs> Even Iranians work at 7-Eleven beats, we should shoot homeless people. <laughs> That's what Joe Rogan suggested on his show. You know that crazy show where he's got a big thing on his head? <laughs> he might have been being sarcastic. It's not, a bad, it's not bad enough that, that Rogan punches now down it's not bad, I'm, I'm nervous. It's not bad enough that Rogan punches down. Now, he wants to shoot down. I ruined that delivery. That was a good joke that I ruined. As we careen into mass poverty, homeless bits are even more hilarious, right? I mean, right? He's joking about shooting the homeless person. 
I feel better about my life because I can laugh at the homeless. <laughs> homeless plus long COVID equals comedy gold. <laughs> I'm not sure which is worse, when Rogan plays smart and gives dangerous medical advice, or when he plays dumb. I'm just a comedian. Why are you listening to my dangerous medical advice? <laughs> That's on you people. Look at this. There's a lull. Even with this amount of technology, we could have shooting lions. We could have me descend from the sky, and I would still get a lackluster reaction. Uh, at least John Mulaney went the traditional route with his horrible handling of success. <laughs> he just blew up his own... They're laughing right now. He just blew up his own personal life and those around him. He didn't try to take down the Centers for Disease Control. <laughs> Thank you, John. You backed out graciously. <laughs> of his marriage, as you'll ever say. Uh, I, look folks, if you could be here, you'd be on the floor. I enjoy hectoring Jimmy Dore. Remember how great Jimmy Dore's Jimmy Dore's stand-up was? Of course you don't. That was a red flag. He made no impression on the comedy industry. Hence, the trafficking in anger. This speech is, this speech is real this year. I'm going all the way. Call back to the uh, Chappelle thing. Uh, I'm not jealous. Of, I really am hearing everything I'm saying. I'm, I'm not saying. I'm not saying, folks. I don't want you to think I'm a hero. I'm not Sully Sullenberger. But when Sully Sullenberger landed the plane on the Hudson, did he hear his voice back in his ear after every sentence? I can't land here. Can't land here. Can't land here. Death. I can't make it to uh, Teetotten. Not Teetotten. Teterboro. <laughs> I enjoy Hector. Oh, I already said that. Of course, it's horrible that Jimmy Dore rants ignorantly about politics. I'd like to focus on terrible. God damn me! <laughs> I don't like it when I mess up, even though I'm supposed to be in the moment. Of, of course it's horrible that Jimmy Dore rants ignorantly about politics. I'd like to focus on how terrible he is comedically. That's not so easy to say. Jimmy delivers everything the same way, like he's doing an impression of a comedian. This is Jimmy Dore's whole thing. Not one person in this room knows who he is. I'm not jealous of Jimmy. Right. I'm not jealous of Jimmy Dore. I feel, in a way, I feel like I'm not really there. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. So it's not natural. It's a natural that I'm not getting the feeling from 3,000 miles away. What am I talking about? I'm more confident here, isolated, than I've ever been in the room. I'm not, okay. I'm not jealous of Jimmy Dore. That's what the trolls on Twitter say whenever you slam anybody. I don't envy his ability to make money helping to spread lies. That's not me. I'm not jealous of his ability to grift. I don't secretly wish I was a hack. I don't covet his half-baked Chicago Catskills delivery. I don't stay awake at night wondering how he does it. I don't write too many jokes about Jimmy Dore that nobody could care about. <laughs> I didn't spend too much time on Jimmy Dore when there were bigger fish to fry. <laughs> Thank you, Howie. But I never thought I'd be in a show where only Howie was laughing. <laughs> can you turn, can you make my, uh, the, the, my voice coming back to me sound a little bit lower in register? I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm just kidding. Regard, but no jokes. I'm just like, stop. The kidding is coming. Regarding Ricky Gervais, Adam Carolla, Bill Maher, Jimmy Dore, and more, I've been telling you for years, do not form political opinions based on the ravings of aging, angry, hack, white, male, unfunny dinosaurs. 
Unless they're in a hologram form. <laughs> Have they left the room? What's happening? Are the jokes not coming out? Is it too long? I have, I don't have to do the rest of the material. I get paid either way. <laughs> Maybe I'm just bitter. I'm bitter, you know what? How can I be the only person in comedy? <laughs> How can I be the only person in comedy who hasn't figured out a way to monetize hate? I don't like this crowd. I don't know how much longer I can hang on, folks. My therapist says I'm going into my third act. She says my life needs a chase scene. Now it's picking up. Maybe it's still, here's my thing. If people are going, ah, 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 I'm insecure. Who knows? Norman Lear turned 100 yesterday, and he's still working. Maybe I just need a hat. To commit to. Yeah. I, I hear that because of Ted Lasso, everyone is looking for nice shows now where people are nice to each other. Great. It's not bad enough that I've aged out of TV. Now I've meaned out. <laughs> meaned out, folks. Yeah, exactly. It is a delivery sometimes. Water, water. It's holographic water. You're gonna like it at the end when I do the extra hologram jokes we couldn't fit in. <laughs> I, you know what, here's, I'd like to get serious for a moment as people have been thinking during my entire career. Career. I feel like maybe, maybe I should have made more fun of young people in my career. You know what I mean? Hey, young comics, we get it. You masturbate a lot. You smoke a lot of weed. You can't buy a house. You have no hope for the future. You have deep existential anxiety caused by constant trauma. You have refreshing and open attitudes about sex and gender and sexuality. You're our only hope for a better tomorrow. We get it! <laughs> Give it a rest! I did pretty well. That's not an easy bit to pull off. You thought I was going to put down the young people. And then I go the other way with it. I twist it around. <laughs> oh, no! I lost my... Why do I even need this? I lost my ability to hear myself immediately after I talk. Uh, by the way, I'll be, I'll be selling an NFT of my hologram after the show, but you can only buy it using my new cryptocurrency, Garage Coin. <laughs> Folks, if you're enjoying today's speech, maybe you'd like to sign up for, for my new masterclass, Self Sabotage the Andy Kidler Way. You'll learn all the finer points of grudge management. <laughs> Holding, nursing, rekindling. The quickest way to turn a minor slight into lifelong resentment. I'll show you the way. And I'll use real world examples from my career. Who can forget Adam Sandler saying to him at Ken Ober's funeral to me, don't worry, I'm not gonna punch you. And he can't. I messed up the tense in that. And that was the best joke. He did say that to me at Ken Ober's funeral, so that's a true story. Don't worry, Andy. I'm not going to punch you. He's a, he's a beloved character who has helped generations of children. You'll learn how to say... You'll learn how to... All I can think of is I'm messing up jokes. You'll learn how to say, I'm going to not be able to get more hologram gigs after this. <laughs> You'll learn how to say the wrong thing to the wrong people. This is still my master class bit. You'll learn how to say the wrong thing to the wrong people, how to take someone down with you, and jealousy of every possible flavor, whether it's another, another common success or just someone getting too many retweets. I'll teach you 
to make it about yourself under any circumstances. No matter how much twisting it takes, you're not wrong, they're wrong. Comedy, I didn't leave comedy, comedy left me. I mean, sisters on that joke too. All right, folks, I'm winding up. I'm winding up, folks. Do I still have time? Am I on a time crunch? Except for Howie, there's nobody in this room who will talk to me. <laughs> I hope you're all enjoying the festival. There's so many great shows to see. Patton Oswald is hosting the Patton Oswald Gala. I don't know. It's hard to imagine Patton celebrating himself. <laughs> He's a friend. <laughs> he loves me. He knows I'm bitter. He'll, he'll tell me it was fine if he answers the phone. I see the Sklar brothers are hosting the alternative show that I've hosted for the last 20 years. I mean, I'm not sure why my hologram wasn't invited, but it's, it's fine with me. The Sklar brothers are great. They're inseparable. They're so close, they finish each other's hopes for advancement. <laughs> Thank you. It's a joke about how hard it is for twins to find work. I didn't invent childbirth. Don't shoot the messenger. That's why the, the greatest triplet group never took off. Uh, why did I say that? The greatest triplet group. Everybody loves when I work stuff out on stage. I'd like to finish up now. By the way, that's the meat of the speech, folks. Don't leave yet. Did they all come together when I asked? Because Howie was like, get them to come together to the area. And then he said, get, pick up my car and take my things to the plane. All right. I'm doing red. I think I'm doing red buttons material now. <laughs> never got a, I never got a hologram. Some people got that. I'd like to, okay. Here's the, all the hologram jokes we couldn't fit in. Of course I'm doing this hologram thing for my own safety, not from COVID, from, from the punching. I'll give 20 bucks to anyone who can keep their wife's name out of my hologram's mouth. <laughs> too late? Too, too late? <laughs> Julian Assange has used hologram technology. At least I'm funnier than that asshole, right? <laughs> so, his whole thing in the embassy was hol a hologram. Oh, this, ki this kills at the conventions. <laughs> Maybe Ellen tried this hologram shtick. It didn't make her more likable. <laughs> people, co people could already see through her. Huh? <laughs> Maybe I'm in the future. Maybe I don't need extra hologram jokes. You know, the first ones were great. Maybe. Maybe I'm from the future. I am from the future in my hologram. Jim Belushi is still growing weed. <laughs> I, I think I've done a Jim Belushi reference in every year since 1995. The first one was, who died made Jim Belushi a big star? <laughs> They spend a lot of money on this technology, or as I like to call them, hollow costs. <laughs> hollow costs. Oh, I'm wrong because I'm, I'm, I'm turning the, the worst event in the uh, history of mankind into a cheap joke. I'm bad. <laughs> People say I personally have overused Hitler references. The other day, I ordered a Hitler-sized french fries. This I got the, I'll never forget my whole life. I, I went back to Queens to visit my family and it was Thanksgiving morning and I was jogging. And I came around a corner and a guy must have thought I was part of his family. And then he sees I'm just a jogger and he goes, eh. Uh. <laughs> he did that right at me. Only in Queens do you, 
you to express your displeasure directly at the person. <laughs> what if Robin, oh, I'm not going to do that. No, no. Uh, the hologram, I'm editing. The hologram is more in touch with my feelings than I am. Only 17 more? I sent my hologram to the therapist. She said, you're projecting. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm sorry. Someone is giving me the, they're giving me the light, folks. I am the light. It's one more hologram joke. I love you. I love you, thank you, Bob. Oh, don't show my belly. All right.